soldier who became a monk and then a bishop? That's Saint Martin of Tours, or Martin the Merciful. And we will celebrate his feast day on the 11th of November. Martin became a soldier of the Roman Empire at the age of 15. It was expected because his father was a military official stationed in Italy. As a soldier, Martin led a humble and upright life. He was also noted for his generosity towards the poor, with whom he shared much of his salary. It was said that one time, when his troop was patrolling, Martin saw a beggar freezing in the cold. He stopped and cut his own cloak and gave it to the beggar so that he might protect his body from the cold. Martin was not yet a baptized Christian during that time, but he was already living out the gospel teaching. Tradition says that that night, Martin had a dream where Jesus appeared covered by the same cloak he had given the beggar, and the Lord was smiling at him. Another story says that a fellow soldier had a similar dream, but this time the Lord spoke, Martin, clothe me with this garment. Now, either way, we know Martin did the right thing which pleased Jesus. Martin was already in his 20s when he was baptized a Christian, and throughout his military career, he gave, according to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, a testimony by being respectful and inclusive of all, treating his attendant as a brother and avoiding vulgar entertainment. In other words, Martin was a model Christian serviceman. When he was released from military service, Martin went to France, where he learned from the saintly Bishop Hilary of Poitiers. He was later on ordained a deacon and then a priest. With the help of his followers, Martin founded a monastery in Ligugé, in 361. But the people of Tours demanded more from Martin. They wanted him to become their bishop. As their pastor, he focused on evangelizing the people in the countryside and the formation of priests. Here we see the generosity and readiness of Saint Martin to share what he had. If when he was still a soldier, he shared his cloak and salary with the poor. This time, as a bishop, he shared himself by shepherding the people. In fact, when he was about to die, it was still the people and their need that was on his mind. He prayed. Friends, I invite you. Let us imitate St. Martin's humility, charity, and selflessness. The world needs more of it today. O holy soldier of Christ, St. Martin of Tours, pray for us. <laughs>